What is up, my homies? It's your boy, the Jolly Leader. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 3. Last time, we saved the land of Olympus and beat Hades and his lousy titans. I know, my okay, my commentary is sounding still lackluster. And this time, we're basically just going to continue on. Now, you said the last episode, sorry how long the last episode was. I was really getting a little too excited about how, how amazing this game is. Plus I was just trying to, plus I was just trying to get help get myself used to the controls and everything and how different all the stuff was. I love I just love how amazing this stuff is. Alright, now it's time to go back go to the gummy ship. Turn the world map. Once you have once you select embark on the menu, you choose destination with your map. If you want, you can press square to mark a place point of interest and then oh, okay, I got you. I hate how it's so far. I guess you gotta unlock some I guess you gotta go towards these new um what's that? These new waypoints, and we get that faster. It's gonna take a while, so I'll be right back. Oh, we got a gummy battle. Okay. Not what I wanted to do, but alright. Let's see what we got. Oh, I have great better than controls. Hold on, what is that? Uh, gummy missions. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, you can. Oh, that's cool. You can do, you can do little homie missiles on these guys. Oh, I'm low on health. That's not good. I'm low on health. Get a little carried away here. This is not good. Oh, snap. I managed to do it, I think. Did I? Yes? No? Hey, I got a B. That's not so bad, I guess. That was scary. Oh, at least I got my health back. All right, let's continue on. Well, we're almost there anyway, so let's keep going. I use the rest of my boost in order to get there faster. Ah, look at that. Twilight Town. Land on this world? Yes. Let's go. Alright, onwards and upwards we go. The Clock Tower. I kind of miss Traverse Town. I haven't been there in a while. I wonder what that, what's going on there. George, we forgot to fill Master Yen Sid in on what happened. Should we go back? Hmm. You mean about Maleficent and Zigbar? No. The others have already got enough on their plates as it is. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? Yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. Doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. Cool. The trams are still here. Feels like it. Maybe you're feeling what Roxas feels because he misses home. Mm hmm. Actually, I ran into Roxas in the Sleeping Worlds. It was like seeing into his heart for the first time. Uh huh. It was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt that you carry inside. Was I ready? I do know hurt. We all do. When I lost Riku and Kairi, and. Later, when I lost the Keyblade, and you guys had to go on without me like that? Having no one to turn to was the worst kind of hurt, but that just shows how much you mean to me. Carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. Hurting is part of caring. Of course, any Sora is still Sora. So wait, if Roxas feels something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm gonna find you. Do you see our leech? Huh? What was that? Right, that's right. Nobody's. Nobody's. <laughs> Oh, I guess, I guess this is where it shows how to use our leaves. And the first one we got is the Meow Wow Bubble. 
Bak mea buat bunga I like to play some music, this is too adorable. This is too adorable and funny, I love it. I hate how I can't take this fight seriously because of this. Oh well. Now I think about it, I hate how it doesn't play the uh... The, the, little, the actual the theme for the, the little boss fight theme for the nobodies. Cause that was always that was so unique to the that was always unique to a boss fight. Not boss fight, not boss fight. Unique to the uh the fight of the nobody. The sniper whoa, the sniper enemies don't know move freely like that. And look that these guys have the new attacks since the first game. Ah, I screwed it up. Alright. Use some spells on these guys. Water! Fire! Donald! Alright, let's own some faces! Oh whoa, 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 whoa! Don't even think about it. Excuse you? You what? Blah! Oh, uh, no, 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 dodge, dodge, dodge that, dodge that. I refuse to get sniped. Oh, oh, he, he vanished. But not for long. Blah! That's the last one. Freaking nobodies. Hmm. What was that voice? I know I heard it. I didn't hear a voice. You sure it wasn't the wind? Or something else? I'm pretty sure. Where'd they come from? Get the ice cream later. Oh. What? Hold up. See? Voices. Not those voices. New ones? What? Hainer? Pence? Olette? Heartless. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> hey, Sora. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Go. We got this. This is gonna be fun. Bring it on! Time for a lock shot command. Yeah. Boom! Look, that did that did some damage. Fire. Go. Ow! I can barely see. Go. Excuse you! Yeah, this is kind of relentless. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. This thing moving fast! Jeez! Oh! That's it? But if they have a bunch of health though! I guess they already expect you to be like that. At least we scared it off. Nice fighting. Thanks, Sora. Hainer, Pence, Olette! It's been ages! What? It hasn't been that long. Yes, Donald, Goofy, how are ya? We're good. Howdy there, Olette. So does this mean that weird stuff's going down again? You kidding, uh. Pence? When have we ever seen a tornado of shadowy blobs before? It's not weird. This is underprecedented. Hmm, I guess it is. The creatures from the last time were bright white. These things must be new. Man, I can't wait to get to sleuthing. We're already done with the school project, silly. Whatever's going on, you wouldn't be here unless you had a good reason. Which is? Well, actually, we're looking for Roxas. Roxas? That's funny. I don't know any Roxas. Mm. But the name sounds familiar. Maybe we bumped into him somewhere. That's one way to put it. Actually, he might have been friends with another version of you. Oh yeah, they still got the picture. This photograph. Yeah, we've got the same one. Oh yeah, the other Twilight Town. 
It's like one of those spot the differences puzzles, except really easy. A I guess too in that easy. Town, we're friends with this Roxas person. Sora, let us help you track Roxas down. <laughs> really? Sure, he seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Great, then let's all go ask around town. If alternate us knew Roxas, then maybe alternate other folks did too. Mm -hmm. Sora, you three should go to the place in the photo. It's the old mansion. The three of us will cover places in town. <sighs> the mansion. Thanks. I'm really oh, yeah. starting to hate that place. I got this phone thingy that takes pictures. <laughs> Want to snap a photo while we're all here? Sure. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hmm? Wait, who's taking it? Oh. Oh. Crap. There we go. Why do I have to do it? Oh, great. Here we go. Hey, tough luck. You drew the short straw. It's okay. Oh, I'm sitting out of the photo with you, Donald. Can you take the photograph? Donald, hold up. Everybody smile. <laughs> wow, that came out great. Oh, a lucky emblem. Lucky emblem? Oh, yeah, they are huge right now. Supposedly, these things are hidden all over town. And if you get a picture of them, they'll bring you good luck. Cool. <laughs> Do they now? Wait. Look, guys, is that. <laughs> You're right. I see it too. <laughs> I knew it. Good luck, because they're not all this easy to find. Okay, we better start asking around. You start by checking out the old mansion. We'll catch up. Got it. Funny, we saw these things on the way there, on the way here. Well, mainly back in Olympus. I miss games when you do this. This reminds me of the freaking uh, Spider-Man uh, photo mode thing. Except this one, you're actually using the camera within the gameplay itself. It's not like we're, it's not like most games where. Yeah, it's not like most games we could just pause the game and then just look for the photo mode, you know what I mean? It's not like most games we can do that. Weird. There's no wall. There's the wall where you can go to where that's open. We can go to the uh, mansion isn't here no more. I guess we gotta go to another, another pathway. Ah, so this is like the, the old alleyway. Oh, this is the tunnelways too. They really changed the area a lot from the uh, original game. Wonder if there's any heartless or nobodies here. Ah, heartless. No nobodies at least. Yeah, like your mom. <laughs> Ooh, what's in this treasure chest? Probably nothing. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's something, but it's, I mean, like nothing, nothing too fancy, smancy. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, I think that's a lucky emblem. But where? 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 I don't see it. Hold on, camera. Let's see. Ooh, okay, I see. Oh, there we go, we gotta get close to it. There we go. I'll help you find the next one. Appreciate it. Oh, but, you say you'll help me find the next one. I just found it. Let's see. <laughs> Thanks, Goofy. <laughs> I am so amazed about this. Somebody's hungry. What's that? Oh, oh. Of what course. Knows? What do you think they're up to? Hmm. Whoa! 
on that branch. The Heartless have him surrounded. Oh, no. Flip, flip. Yeah. Jack explains it. <laughs> Knowing the Heartless, the possibilities are kind of endless. Quit monkeying around, would you? What the heck is the bikini? <laughs> That voice is cracked there, my goodness. Gorge, yeah. they're not making it easy for us. We can take them. Get your faces on them. Well, take care. Oh, just like the movie, I forget about that. Whoa! Lucky! That little feller's parked on your head! Huh? Would you cut that up? Oh! Huh? Oh. You know, maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him. Okay, that's fine, but I can do it by myself. I just need to collect the fruit? Right then. We're gonna need a basket. So, what are you gonna do with all this anyway? Huh? Hmm? Oh. Well, okay. You be careful going home. See you around! Next stop, the mansion! So, you know what? I just realized that's what I feel like I feel like I know what the greens are for. The greens that we've been picking up along the way. All the mushrooms and fruits and veg veggies and whatnot and the meat. Wait, that's Blast Run! Are you dead? Are you dead serious? Are you dead serious? <laughs> okay then! Alright, Ben, finish it. <laughs> Whoa. What in the heck? Am I the one controlling it? Or the game's doing it? I don't know. All right, all right, enough fooling around. Let's get going. Yep. I swear, source movement is a lot faster than it should be. I keep noticing it. It just feels like he's going running a lot faster. Did they change his running speed in the, since the previous games? I think he knows something. <laughs> I think so. I think Raptus is in Sora or something. Not like that. Like his heart. What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> hey there. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks for the heart attack. Oh, what? Did I scare you? Stop the cow. <laughs> 
So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope. Figured as much. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. At least this game's aware of alternate realities. Or well, the franchise at least. <clears throat> but now I think about it, this game's this game is aware of alternate dimensions, alternate worlds, and dream in the dream world and whatnot. What about timeline? What about like time dimensions or whatever? Oh no. There was the thing Here where we they go. went back to the past and saw old Mickey. The password was uh sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? By who? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then, and this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Hmm. Oh. Huh? Hello, Sora. <clears throat> you wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how'd you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any shit. Oh, and what? You do? <laughs> I know. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> well, at least and, he's honest. Uh, who was it that logged in? Oh, uh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup, but I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so I can't uh, run it. Which program? Uh, the transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh, it's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? <clears throat> okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm -hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... <laughs> I like how it kind of leaves it out. Don't drop your phone. Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction, meaning Somewhere on your machine, there's a log of that data that, uh, basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. 
Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Hmm. You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh... I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, A little too far ahead. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pets. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, you think you can bring Roxas back? Oh. Handsome! Zemnis too? Zemnis! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. I mean, look at Tron. Hmm. Handsome and Zemnis used to be part of the same person, right? But yeah. look, now they exist separately just fine. Hmm. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah. yeah. You tell him, Captain Goofy. Somebody's thinking. <laughs> In that case, by all means, nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again. Still so blind, a nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back. Which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <gasps> Neo shadows. <gasps> and desks. Now. Set your heart free. Wait! Sora! It's not Great. darkness. Not if it helps him. You tell him, Sora. We got this. Let's handle these freaks. Take this! Man, they just keep coming. Hey, I'm just wombo comboing this one particular guy. That's crazy. Goofy, need your help here. Go get it. Oh. Learn to back off, would you? And then there was one. I'll take him. Go, dude. At least I want Blizzard. Herc said 
He said, with all my heart. Okay, then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me? Donald? Goofy? You I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then, let's head back to town. Well, bless Whoa. my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued my chef. Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. Oh yeah, forget about that. How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Why would you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a shell? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. What is it? Wow! Cake! Cake! Huh? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, it's you! Hi! It all started a little while ago when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. Anything? You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of little chef's food. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. All right, that should be it. Hey, guys! Oh. Hayner, Olette. Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey, good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? Oh, nice. Oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. Oh, QR code. Clever. You just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You download this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> I know. Oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? 
You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. It's so sad. But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. No, oh, of course they were watching. Zigbar, of course. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case, we'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. Now I'm worried. I like how it shows the classic games. Basically, basically this is just freaking um, Game and Watch. That's all it is. That's just, just by looking at it. Ooh, shooting star. We already did so much in this episode. So I guess let's go ahead. We um, go ahead and end things off. So before, before we do, we're going to recap everything we've done. So we actually basically just entered uh, Twilight Town for the first time in, in a while. Even though it, was, it hasn't really been that long since we've been here. According to... The dialogue of this game and for uh we managed to find the old mansion we fought some heart we fought some heartless we fought some nobodies and we tried to and we tried to figure out a way to meet um and we, yeah basically we went to the old mansion and we saved, and we saved the little chef i think now is a good time to end things off so thank you so much for watching zap that like button and subscribe and no one at the side button Leave a comment below to you guys think of this game, this episode, this entire Let's Play. Took a note in case you check it for my videos. If you can't wait for more, always check my own ones. This is Charlie and Sign now. Peace out, my homies. And may your heart be your guiding key.